The race to develop a vaccine for COVID-19 continues, and that includes here locally. Biotech company Arcturus Therapeutics in Torrey Pines is working on creating a coronavirus vaccine. News 8's Kelly Asadol spent the day at the company's lab. She joins us now with what we learned, a busy place there these days, I'm sure, Kelly. Uh, yeah, a lot of activity. You know, this company is one of about a dozen companies, uh, biotech companies, that is working on creating a COVID-19 vaccine. Now, they've already identified it, so they're working on manufacturing it but it's still going to be quite some time before it's going to be administered to the public. So we have chemistry, we've got biology, we've got analytics, we've got formulation scientists. Inside Arcturus Therapeutics, scientists are hard at work on a vaccine for COVID-19. President and CEO Joseph Payne. Now the major challenges in vaccines is, is the size of the dose and the feasibility of manufacturing. The biotech company has partnered with Duke University and the National University of Singapore. They have significant experience with epidemic and pandemic viral outbreaks, MERS, SARS, and now coronavirus. Though there are several companies working to develop a vaccine, Payne says the technology they use is different. Our approach is self-replicating RNA which means we inject a very, very, very tiny amount of our technology into the arm, and then it creates the antigen over a period of a few weeks and just continues to do so. So the ultimate hope is that it's a single injection and it doesn't even require a booster. Which he says would be helpful to the government. So you can imagine if you're a government entity and you're trying to administer a vaccine to a mass population, the logistical challenges of a two or three sh shot vaccine versus a single shot. The amount of vaccine they're aiming to use is a dose in micrograms, something that sets them apart from their competition. And just to give you an idea of how small an amount of their vaccine you would need, the amount that's in this vial could vaccinate millions of people. So you're the smallest. Yes, amount. the smallest amount. And that's really important so that when we do a manufacturing run, that we can make the batch available to the largest population. So do you have a timeline at all on when you would start to do the clinical trials, when you would inject humans? Yeah, that is the, that's the, the it's a fair question and everyone asks us. And what we've messaged is as soon as possible, of course. We're aiming for this year, but that is an ambitious challenge. Now again, even though there are about a dozen companies working on a COVID-19 vaccine, Payne told me because the demand is going to be so high that if all of these companies are successful in creating them, he suspects that they're all going to be used. I think a lot of people just want to say, hey, use me as a guinea pig. Here, take my arm. But I know <laughs> yeah, they want that of, out there now. A lot of red tape yes. that they have there to go is. through in the there's clinical trials. There's a lot of red tape and it takes a while. I mean, the FDA here has to approve it. Then they have to go through the clinical trials on humans. I mean, it could just be several months. And that's being optimistic. I mean, he was even saying by the end of this year, hopefully, to do some clinical trials. And that was being really optimistic. Which sounds frustrating to a lot of people, but just yes. because there's a certain level of panic doesn't mm -hmm. mean you can get rid of all that protocol. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Be safe. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly.